March 2002, Charrington successfully installed two pipeline shore landings for the Patricia Baleen Gasfield Development Project in the Bass Strait of Australia using a newly developed process. The works were completed using Charrington's new technology, enabling the product pipe to be thrust from the land to a subsea location without disturbing the beach or surf zone. All of the works, including pipe installation, were completed from land over 350 meters back from the shoreline, all but eliminating the need for offshore support. It was a considerable achievement that now establishes a new cost-effective and environmentally sound solution to the construction of pipeline shore landings. Prior to each major task, the Charrington crew is assembled for a safety hazard meeting in which the potential risks are discussed and documented, which is a part of Charrington's standard QA procedure. So, uh, the drivers can get it off easily at the other end. The new thrusting method involves the product pipes being welded within the onshore pipeline easement, behind the drill site and afterwards thrusted into the pre-drilled borehole out to the offshore position. The pipe is welded and tested in one or multiple sections prior to installation. The strings are positioned behind the drill rig and within the right away. All pipe welding and testing works are performed onshore, which has proven to be more economical and easier to control the quality of work. The pipe string is then positioned onto the pipe stands and into a predetermined overbend radius. The pipe string is then further advanced through the back of the thrusting machine and readied for installation. Specially designed centralizing rollers prevent the pipe coating from being damaged while the pipe is being advanced. The pipe is externally gripped using a specially designed non-abrasive pipe clamp, which grips the circumference of the pipe without causing coating damage. The jet head assembly is specially designed to accomplish a dual role. The external jet nozzles adjacent to the leading end enables any blockage within the borehole path to be hydraulically removed as the pipe is being advanced. Traditional methods require the lifting of the pipe string to the surface in order to attach the test head. Additional design features of Charrington's jet head assembly enable the hydro testing to be performed without lifting the pipe strings off of the seafloor, thus minimizing the need for marine equipment and activities. Pipe installation is monitored during installation to ensure that forces applied to the pipe and coating do not exceed design criteria. All activities are monitored and logged, enabling a post-installation report to be generated as part of the as-built data. An added feature of the process is the dramatic reduction in the installation time as compared with normal directional drilling pullbacks. Since the thrusting machine 
does not require making up or breaking out of the drill pipe sections as product pipe is installed, the time of the overall pipe installation is greatly reduced. Another added advantage of thrusted shore landings is the ability to reverse the pipe strings in the event of installation problem. A traditional installed crossing using pullback methods would require extensive marine support to reverse the pipes in a recovery operation. Charrington's QA control procedures ensure that all pipes are checked for coating damage prior to entry into the ground, ensuring coating integrity. Charrington's stringent environmental control ensures minimal impact on the surrounding environment. A designated safety and environmental officer patrols the site area and ensures compliance with the occupational, health, safety, and environmental procedures. The safety officer's core responsibilities include monitoring for fractures, documenting and recording construction noise level, recommending all orders of safety and environmental compliance, as well as completing daily inspection reports. No matter if you are landing a pipeline or a cable, success is always predicated by the experience in which you bring to task. It is likely that one or more of Charrington's personnel have already been involved in a project similar to yours. Charrington's pioneering contribution to the horizontal directional drilling industry has spanned for over 30 years and is a name synonymous with the continuing development of the industry.